Hey guys, this is Jeffrey Antonico Diaz and you're watching the significance of old school technology. In this activity, I will show you the third popular version of Windows Server Operating System developed and produced by Microsoft based on Windows NT 6.0. Although support for Windows Server 2008 has ended last January 14, 2020, Windows Server 2008 is eligible for the Extended Security Updates program. This program allows volume licensed customers to purchase in yearly installments security updates for the operating system until at most January 10, 2023. The licenses are paid for on a per machine basis. If a user purchases an extended security updates license in a later year of the program, they must pay for any previous years of extended security updates as well. Extended security updates are released only as they become available. Historical Background Windows Server 2008 was released to manufacturing on February 4, 2008 and reached general availability on February 27, 2008, about 13 months after the launch of the Windows Vista operating system. Windows Server 2008 2008 is the successor of Windows Server 2003, which is derived from the Windows XP codebase released nearly 5 years earlier. Originally known as Windows Server codename Longhorn, Microsoft Chairman Bill Gates announced its official title, Windows Server 2008, during his keynote address at Windows Hardware Engineering Conference in 16th day of May, year 2007. Beta 1 was released on July 27, 2005. Beta 2 was announced and released on May 23, 2006. Beta 3 was released publicly on April 25, 2007. Release Candidate 0 was released to the general public on September 24, 2007. And Release Candidate 1 was released to the general public on December 5, 2007. Windows Server 2008 was released to manufacturing on February 4, 2008 and officially launched on 27 of that month. Windows Server 2008 will be the last 32-bit operating system that Microsoft will release for servers and clients. My recommendations, although support for Windows Server 2008 has ended, regular security updates have also ended. Don't let your infrastructure and applications go unprotected. The vision for this activity would make us more idealistic in installing server operating system. In this activity, I'll use Windows Server 2008 bootable DVD. The installer that I'm about to use has two options, the full installation and server core installation. Windows Server 2008 standard full installation, this option installs the complete installation of Windows Server. This installation includes the entire user interface and it supports all the server roles. Windows Server 2008 standard server core installation, this option installs a minimal installation of Windows Server without the standard Windows user interface and with the subset of server roles that can be managed from a command prompt, reducing management requirements and attack surface. In this video, we will use full installation option. This portion walks you through the entire Windows Server 2008 setup process using Microsoft's interactive setup wizard. This application was completely overhauled for Windows Server 2008 and it's now much more streamlined, simplified, and faster moving than the version used in Windows Server 2000 and Windows Server 2003. To start the setup process, simply click next button. To start setting up the operating system, click install now button. You can find your product key on your computer or on the installation disk holder inside the Windows package. Although you are not required to enter your product key now to install, failure to enter it may result in the loss of data, information, and programs. You may be required to purchase another edition of Windows. It is strongly advised that you enter your product identification key now. The product key sticker looks like this. In this activity, we will install Windows Server 2008 standard full installation. Always remember, before installing an operating system, don't forget this simple advice. Read the entire license agreement.
reading it, check I accept the license terms checkbox. And then click next button. To install a new copy of Windows, select Custom Advanced Option as the install type. To create a partition, click Drive Options Advanced. Click New Option and then type the capacity you want to assign. If you format this partition, all data stored on it will be permanently deleted. To proceed with the installation, simply click Next button. Ignore the message, press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Please wait while Windows set up your computer. Please wait while Windows continue setting up your computer.
Again, ignore the message, press any key to boot from CD or DVD. The user's password must be changed before logging on the first time. To proceed, simply click OK button. Don't forget to assign a strong password to your server operating system. In this activity, we will use capital P, commercial at sign, S, dollar sign, W, 0, R, D as our assigned password. Legions of disgruntled IT people who've decided to take up a career in hacking are the ones that we've considered why we are putting good passwords on our accounts. Your password has been changed. To proceed, simply click OK button. That's all for today. May God bless us all. Keep safe and see you next time here on the Significance of Old School Technology.